Okay, so paano kapag ka ganito yung given? Find the equation na parabola given vertex is 4, negative 1 and a point 2, uh, 3. So, uh, alam niyo na naman na ang equation ng parabola is y squared, uh, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So, ganyan dapat yung maging uh, sagot natin. Okay? So, eh, since uh, mahirap to, pwede natin gamitin yung, yung vertex form which is Uh, tandaan nyo, y equals a x minus h squared uh, plus k. Okay? So, hindi ito yung gagamitin natin. Kasi mahirap to. Okay? Ito yung gagamitin natin. y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Ngayon, bakit? Kasi, madali ito para i-identify ang vertex. Okay? Tandaan nyo, vertex is always at h comma k. Ngayon, given ang vertex, ito, 4 and negative 1. So, 4 kama negative 1. Ngayon, may clue na agad tayo. Uh, ang 4 is h, ang negative 1 is k. Ngayon, itong uh, information na to ipapalit nyo lang yan dito. Okay, so ipalit natin. Ano mangyayari? Magiging y equals a x minus h squared. So, ano yung uh, h? h is 4. So, buburain ko to Gagawin natin 4. Okay? And then, plus k. k is negative 1. So, lalagay ko yun dito. And, positive uh, minus negative 1 magiging negative 1 na lang. Okay, yan na. So, pinalit lang natin yung vertex since given siya. Okay? And then, may isa pang given, a point, 2 comma 3. Okay? 2 comma 3 daw. 2 comma 3. Tandaan nyo na ang point is always x comma y. So, itong 2 comma negative 3 is actually x comma y. So, dahil alam natin yan, pwede natin ipalit tong 2 and 3 dito sa equation na to. So, x is equal to 2. Palitan natin. Ano mangyayari? Okay? Ah, wag muna. Y na lang pala muna. So, y is equal to 3 daw. So, ito may y sa unahan. So, magiging 3 yun. Gets equals a quantity x minus 4. So, since x daw ay equal to 2, may gin 2 minus 4 squared and then minus 1. So, ayun na. Ito na yung bagong, equa bagong uh, equation na, na i-plug natin yung vertex pati yung point. Okay? Pinalit lang dun sa equation. Then, ang next na is sisimplify nyo na lang to. Paano nyo, paano nyo yan isisimplify? Uh, pagsabay-sabay na natin. Itong negative 1, itatranspose yan dito sa left side. Okay? So, magiging 3 plus 1 equals a. Ito, 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then, negative 2 squared is uh, 4. Okay? Eh, kailangan natin ma-isolate itong a. So, kailangan mawala ni 4. Para mawala si 4, i-divide yung both side. So, cancel to. And then, 3 plus 1 is 4. Then, divide 4, edi 1. Which means, our a is equal to 1. Okay? Ayun na. Ayun yung final na step. So, nahanap na natin yung a. And then, what's uh, the last step is, itong formula lang to, yung binigay ko sa inyo kanina, isasubstitute nyo lang yung x, a, and k. Tapos na. Okay? Which means, ganito yan. Y equals, what is our A? 1. So, since 1 na, hindi na natin susulat. So, Y equals A, and then quantity, X minus H squared. What is H? 4. So, minus 4, and then plus K. So, ano yung K? Negative 1. So, imbis na plus 1, magiging negative 1. So, this is the answer. Gets? So, ulitin ko, i-recap ko yung step, yung vertex na h comma k at yung point na x comma y, pinalit dito sa equation na to. Okay? Kaya pinalit para mahanap yung value ni a, which is 1 nga. Ngayon, pag nahanap na yung value ni a, ipapalit mo dun sa original equation yung a, h, and k. Hindi na yung x and y, wala na yan. So, ito na yung final answer. Gets? So, para mas maintindihan, isa pang example. 
Okay, so next example, find the equation of a parabola given vertex negative 7, 9 and a point negative 4, 8. So again, madali lang. Uh, tandaan nyo lang tong uh, for, format. So y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Okay, so kukunin natin yung vertex since given siya. Ang vertex is as uh, negative 7, 9 and then ang vertex nga is h, k. So, alam natin na ang h ay negative 7, ang k is 9. Okay? So, kunin din natin itong given na point. So, sabi, yung point daw is negative 4, 8. Then, alam natin na ang kahit anong point is x and y. So, alam natin na x is negative 4, alam natin na y is 8. So, ayang apat na yan, ipa-plug nyo dito. Okay? So, y is 8. So, magiging 8 equals, ayan, a ang hinahanap. So, a as is. Okay? Wala pa naman tayong value ni A. And then, X minus H. X is negative 4. Minus H. H is negative 7. So, minus negative 7, magiging plus na. Gets. And then, squared. And then, lastly, plus K. K is 9. So, yun. Pinilag lang yung apat na value na yan. And then, all that's left is simplify ito. So, para mabilis, itong plus 9, ita transpose dun. Okay? So, magiging 8 minus 9. Gets? And then, itong A as is, ito. Negative 4 plus 7 ay positive 3. And then, positive 3 squared is 9. Okay? And then, we need to, is we need to isolate this A. A yan na. So, kailangan mawala nitong 9. So, para mawala, divide both sides. Okay? So, last na. Our A is equal to 8 minus 9 is negative 1. And then may 9 sa ilalim, which means uh, negative 1 over 9. So, alam na natin yung value ni A. A is equal to negative 1 over 9. Okay? Now, all that's left, buburin ko na to, is is a substitute ang value ni A, ni H, at ni K dito sa original equation na to. Okay? So, sulat natin. Y equals, what is A? Negative 1, 9. And then, X minus H daw. So, X minus H. Ano yung H natin? Ito, sa vertex. H is negative 7. So, since minus din to, magiging positive 7, is squared. And then, lastly, uh, plus K. Ito, ito yung pinagbabase yan. Ha? Plus K. So, our K is 9. Galing sa vertex. So, ito na. Ayan yung sagot. Okay? Gets? So, again, recap ko yung step. In vertex, H kama K, kinuwa. Yung point, X kama Y, kinuwa. Then, yung apat na yun, pinalit dito. Okay? And then, pag na-simplify nyo, makukuha nyo yung value ni A. And then, ayan nga, negative 1, 9. And then, pag nakuha nyo na yung value ni A, ay may papalit niya yung value ni A, ni H, at ni K dun sa original equation, eto. At makukuha niya yung final answer na Y equals negative 1 over 9, quantity X plus 7, squared plus 9. So, ganun lang ang gagawin if given ang vertex and a point. So, yun lang. Salamat. <music>